Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Z06 style lower air vents on a C7 Corvette Stingray. Hi everyone, this is Chrissy and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Z06 style side air vents from ACS on my Stingray Z51. Now, as you can see here, the side vents are, have already been painted. Now, I, I got them. They'll, uh, I'll show some pictures of what they look like. They came just primer, um, and I talk about that a little bit um, as I'm getting ready to uh, uh, go ahead and paint them here in the garage, and you'll see how I went ahead and uh, and prepped the garage with plastic and got all that done so it was basically a nice clean lint free area and uh, I went ahead and uh, ordered the paint from one of the local automotive shops and I had them go ahead and load the the paint into aerosol cans but this is the same uh, quality paint um, that you would get if you took it to a body shop and uh, I ended up having to paint the side vents themselves as well as the trim pieces that go here, uh, you know, for the the front of the vent. So you can see kind of here how that how that goes together. Um, this kit uh, comes with these four parts. This is going to be a non-functional set. I didn't uh, I didn't elect to go with the the venting. Um, you can check that out on the site. Uh, your if you decide you want to be able to have the actual functional ducts, you can do that. Um, I chose to not worry about it. I really didn't need it. I wasn't uh, upsizing my brakes at all. This is more just cosmetic. So, um, but you'll be able to see that the, the, the quality of the, of the product, uh, very well molded. Everything looks really, really good. Um, and uh, it was, you know, it came in, in a primer. Now, uh, and then I, I painted it. And I actually have that in the film, so you'll be able to see that. And I shot that, uh, shot that on the 3rd of July, uh, and today's the, the 4th of July, and um, we, uh, I'm getting this done today before all the fireworks start tonight, so I'm not interrupted, you know, you guys won't hear all that uh, going on in the video. Um, but anyway, we went ahead and we shot these yesterday. Uh, the paint laid down really, really well. Hopefully you can, you can see that. Uh, it did, a, it just came out really, really nice. Um, and so some of the stuff that I'm talking about in the initial video when I'm painting this, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me very well because I was using a respirator. Um, so uh, some stuff may be duplicated. I'll try not to do that. Maybe hopefully in the, the happy world of editing, I'll not have to repeat myself. Um, but what I do want to point out to you is that the, the automotive paint that is used um, it, when you go to a, uh, you know, if you go to a shop, obviously you're going to have to pay big money to have somebody paint this for you. Uh, you can do it on your own um, if you're if you're fairly handy. Um, so you can have a paint shop loaded with aerosol can paint, and it will hold up just as well as regular car paint. Um, I've done this a lot on different cars. It works really, really good. So. Um, and you'll see in the video the aerosol can that, the, that we're loading about and then it also the clear that actually seals all this is a uh, it's a two-stage actually has a canister inside the can that uh, you activate it and activates a hardener and then the the paint is basically good for about 24 hours and then it's no good anymore so um, so I shot this this finished about 11 o'clock at night um, it is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now so we're going to go ahead and I have to do this in two stages. One, we get, get it painted and ready to go. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to jack the car up, take the wheel off, open up the wheel liner, and drill the holes with the template on the side of the car. Um, and then we'll be good to go. So um, not exactly sure how we're going to go, go through and edit it, the, editing this, um, but uh, I just wanted to touch base with all of that. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll just jump into the video here with the installation. So um, as far as, uh, let me cover a couple other things. Um, this particular color is not one of the colors that ACS can provide. It's a, 
Um, this happens to be a crystal red metallic on my 2014 uh, Stingray. Uh, that paint is a tri-stage and it is a lot harder to paint and match the color than most. And so ACS has chosen not to uh, cover that or carry that particular color pre-done. So if you, if you look on their site, you'll be able to see that they do do some of them already. So if you are fortunate enough to have one of the colors of the cars that they, that they do it, I would highly recommend that you do that because the difference in what they charge to go ahead and have it all done for you when you get it is much less than going and having to do all this. You know, I take the I took the chance that I could get a have gotten runs in it or I've got a got, you know, uh, specks of dirt in it or whatever. I got very very lucky. You'll see in the video I was very very careful on how I did things, but you always run into that chance and I don't paint every day, so you know, I just feel I know enough about how to do it, but it's one of those things that I just feel like I got lucky. So if you can get one from them that is, you know, already your color car, I would highly, uh, highly uh, recommend doing so. Uh, the, just the paint and material alone, uh, from sandpaper to tack cloth to the cans and material of the paint itself, uh, it was uh, $158 to be able to do these two vent pieces as well as these two trim pieces with the carbon flash here. So, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, jump into the video um, and hopefully you, hopefully you learn something, hopefully you enjoy it and that you like what you see because I honestly think every picture I've seen of one of these put on the car, every time I saw it, I'm like, oh man, one of these days I got to do this. So. Um, ACS has stepped up and said, hey, you know, we'll sponsor you and, uh, you know, basically what's happening, um, my car, we go to a lot of car shows and we go to, we're pretty much all over the Bay Area, all in the Sacramento area. We go to big ones, we go to small ones. We're trying to get out there and, you know, for you guys to be able to meet us and be able to let everybody see the car. And so the car itself has started to become a mobile showroom for ACS. So if you guys are looking at possibly doing this vent or you're thinking about doing the Z06 style upper vent or a um, or the stage 2 uh, spoiler on the car or or the aero kit on the bottom all of that is on my car now and so you'll be able to go to the show and go okay, you know what now I understand here it is I can see why they charge what they charge. Uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video. We're going to go ahead and start the installation um, right from the very beginning and um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Somewhere along the line, I'm going to be able to put it, and most likely I'll put that in the very beginning of this video, is the part where I paint it. And then at that point we will start after that from where we're about to start right this minute, which is the actual installation of the units themselves. So kick back and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks. So let me show you what the air vents look like before we go any farther. I want to be able to show you what they look like when they get out of the box um, because um, I wasn't lucky enough to have one of the colors that they already do. Um, some of them, they do actually make some of them. They do, I think, black and white and red and a couple other various colors. But because mine is a, it's crystal red metallic, it's a three-stage uh, paint, they, um, they just choose not to paint that because of the possibility there's so many vari variances of the color that they don't want to have to, you know, it not be right. So um, I went down, I've painted before, painted some parts on, uh, on my engine before, and I was able to get the color pretty darn close. And um, so, what I do uh, when I'm painting something small like this, I go down to um, a local uh, local paint shop, automotive paint shop, and I actually have them load the real automotive paint into an aerosol can. And so this one here, it's uh, it's going to require the, it's a three stage. So you have a you have a base coat here. Um, and then we'll put a couple coats of that on and then we're going to have a couple coats of the uh, 
pearl tint that goes onto it. And then we're going to follow that with the clear. And so a total, there'll be a total of six coats. There'll be two of each one on here. Um, the clear coat is an automotive. I mean, some of you guys are going, wow, he's using a rattle can to be able to uh, paint parts on his car. This is actually a, um, this actually has an activator built into it. Um, I'm going to show you the, how, as I'm doing this, I'm going to be filming this. I'm going to put a GoPro on my head while I'm filming it. I'm not going to be able to talk because I've got a respirator on. Um, you are going to want to make sure that you have a professional respirator. Do not try to do this without it. Okay. Um, it, it, it will definitely hurt you bad, okay? And you might not pay for it today, but you will later, it'll, it'll end up ruining your lungs. So, um, but what you do is you end up taking this red cap out of here, you're putting it on the bottom of the can, you're pressing it down, actually it's hard enough, you gotta press it onto the floor, and, it, and then shake it up. And it will actually create the, activate the hardener that's in it, and it will be as, every bit as strong, as what the body shop will actually uh, be able to put on. I've used this on, on a lot of my different cars over the years and it works awesome. Um, so you'll be, able to, uh, you'll be able to do this all of yourself. Now it also has these, these uh, the trim pieces which are the front of the air scoop. Um, these, if again, if you were buying them with a color that was already finished, these would already be done in the, uh, in the um, uh, carbon flash metallic um, but since I bought the, uh, the primer version um, it's a um, uh, it just nothing comes painted right so so the only thing that I have done ahead of time here as you can probably see see my garage is totally <laughs> wrapped in plastic so I don't get it on my floor and any of the other stuff and so what I'm going to do here is I just went outside after I set, got this all set up, I didn't do any sanding or body work or anything in here, so it's all, you know, as minimal dust as possible. I went outside and I, I did uh, 500 grit sandpaper just to rough the primer up because it does come as a primer, okay? And so then I've wiped it all down with a rag. Same thing with these. I've just got them ready to paint, okay? And you're going to be able to see this as I'm doing it. Then at that point, um, once I get started here, I'm going to use a tack cloth and I'm going to wipe all this down one more time before I start to shoot it. And then at that point comes the fun part. We'll, we'll put um, one coat on, one coat of the base on, and then we'll put another coat on about 10 minutes later. And then we'll let that sit for about 10 minutes. Then we'll put the tint coat on and then we'll wait another 10 minutes. We'll put another coat of tint on wait another 10 minutes and then we'll do two coats of clear 10 minutes in between. At that point it's finished and um, we'll have to uh, you know I'll have to paint these separately I can't be shooting the um, the, the black near the burgundy but um, I'll get those let those dry a little bit I'll get them out of the way and then I'll be able to shoot the black and then we'll clear those also so um, but the same process goes for both so um, again, I won't be able to be talking, I'm going to have a respirator on, so um, I'll just be able to play the video, you'll be able to see what it is. Um, I'll probably, most likely, fast forward that so you're not bored, um, but I just wanted to be able to let you see what's involved, and if you are one of the lucky ones that they have the color for this, it's well worth the money. Um, to be able to do this, uh, just to get the sandpaper, and uh, two cans of the clear because I bought one extra clear just in case I needed it as well as all the colors for everything. We're looking at $158 for just the paint. Now if you were going to send this into the shop you're probably looking at I don't know maybe if you found somebody that would cut you a deal you know $300 maybe it could be upwards to $500. So um, I do believe that ACS charges a little bit more to have it already painted when you get it. If you can get it that color, do it, okay? So anyway, uh, just wanted to touch base with you on that. And so we're gonna jump into uh, the video here of me painting it. And then uh, we'll be letting this dry. I'm filming this part on, uh, on Wednesday, on July 3rd. And um, so I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow um, we'll be able to let this dry overnight and then I'll be able to finish 
doing the installation of of the parts on the car uh, on the on the Fourth of July. So um, I'm I've got a really big car show coming up um, up in uh, in Oregon, and uh, this is coming this following week, and uh, it's a three day big one. I'll talk a little bit more about it um, in case some of you are going. I'd love for you guys to uh, you know to stop in and say hi, and um, but anyway. Um, so go ahead and we'll watch the video or I'll show you how to do it and then we'll go from there and then we'll have the, uh, we'll have the installation itself tomorrow and we'll get it all into one video and, and get it ready for you guys. Okay, so sit back, hopefully you like it. So you can see here that I've gotten the first two coats down of the base coat. And so we've got a couple more minutes. Um, we've probably waited about eight, nine minutes now at this point. So I want to wait a couple more minutes. And then at that point, um, we can go ahead and we can uh, start to put the, the uh, overcoat on or what you would be the second, what they call tint coat. This one actually, as you can see the difference here, it's got all the, the maroon, the magenta, the red pearl, copper pearl, all that stuff is actually built into this one. So this is where it's actually going to start to take shape. You're going to start to see it look more like my car. And then we'll put two coats of this on. And then after we do that, then uh, we'll let that sit. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, two coats of clear on and then we'll let it sit overnight and then at that point it should be ready to install it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now we just sit back and we wait a little bit. Give this about, I'm going to give this about 20 minutes to let this totally set up. And then at that point, I'll go ahead and start shooting the clear. We have the, we got the base pieces, the colored pieces done. Now we have to do the vents. So I've stuck the vents into the side of the box so I can I can have both sides of the of the scoop vent covers or the edges uh, so I don't have to turn them I don't have to rotate them they'll get an even coat all the way around so I'm gonna paint these and then at that point I can bring the other colored pieces back and we can clear it all at one time Okay, so 
So now we're going to wait 10 minutes and we'll shoot them again. So guys, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I've got my camera all set to go here, I think. So hopefully you guys can see it. Now you can see here that this is a clear coat, okay? And we were talking about this earlier that we have a cap that we will take out of here, okay, like so. Now I've been shaking this up for about five minutes already. So I mean, it's definitely, definitely uh, shook up. Now in order to activate this, this clear, we've got, we've got to put this little cap right here on the bottom like so like that and then we're going to actually push this down onto the ground here and you can hear that pop okay and at that point that activated that and that opened up the second canister that's inside so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually shake this up and this is mixing the hardener and the activator and everything all together so now when i get done shaking this up here this would be just like as if I was shooting regular or clear from a body shop. I'm just going to take it up there. And while I'm going over all of this, we have now put on the base coat, two coats of the base coat. We put on two coats of the of the tip coat on both pieces. Then I moved those out of the way and I brought the two black uh, vent trim pieces over. And I went ahead and put them up on edge, as you can see here, so I could shoot both the in and the outside of it at the same time without having any marks. So you're going to want to, I'm just putting this inside the edge of the box. Um, so make sure that they're secure and that you can get them in there. You can also, because they have screw holes, uh, where we're going to put the rivets on to rivet them onto the, the colored pieces, uh, you could suspend those from, you know, your garage door uh, up here, your garage door opener, or something else, however you want to do it. But this way, everything is not, there's nothing sitting on any of the spots, so it's not going to miss a piece and not get coated. Okay, so we're shaking this up now. This is more than enough. Now I've got two, case, two coats of clear we've got to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start over here, okay, like so, and you don't want to get too carried away with the clear because it will run on you, and then all your hard work is all, all done, so that's why you want to do it in light little burst there and we're going to do two coats of this okay now we're going to get over to the over to the color part we want to get underneath the front edge here this is where it's going to be seen the most okay this is the bottom so it's not like i mean you want to get it but it's not like it's imperative that you, you to get that but this is the top edge so you want to make sure you get that okay and then once you got that then you can go back and forth okay and again you don't want to get too carried away You don't want to get too close either because if you do, you're going to end up with a run. And that ruins your day. And you see I'm going past the point, back and forth. So the mist is not hitting and bursting it. Okay. So now at that point we've got one, one coat of color down. Okay. Or one coat of clear down. So now we're going to wait another 10 minutes. In this case I'm probably going to wait 15 minutes because clear is a little bit thicker and it will uh, 
it will take a little bit longer to dry. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a little bit more time. Okay. Okay. So we've waited about 15 minutes now, and come back and it's looking really really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one more coat on and then we're just gonna let it dry overnight. Okay, so we're gonna start back over here where we started before with these. looking for any dry spots you'll see it it won't it'll look like it's splash dry a little bit and you don't want that to happen that looks shiny everywhere in every angle fluorescent lights will help you with this if you have one you want to try to make sure you use it because it will allow you to be able to see the cloudiness if it's drying too fast you didn't get it thick enough didn't get it wet enough so it looks like we've got it. So at this point, we're just going to let it dry. And then tomorrow, we'll be able to start on the installation itself. So hopefully you got a, a quick tip here as far as how to paint a little bit. Um, those of you that do this for a living, uh, I may be doing it all completely all wrong. And if, you, if I did, you know, go ahead. Put the comments below, let me know. Um, you know, I mean, I can always learn from it. I've been doing it like this for probably about 10 years now, and it seems to work just really well. Um, I've painted grills and front bumpers and things like that, and I haven't had any problems. The, you know, I mean, the, the car ends up getting traded off three or four years down the road, or in this, in, in one case, my Escalade got, got uh, rear-ended in total before the front end ever had a rock chip in it. So this stuff works really, really well, this clear coat that I was talking about. Now you want to make sure that you use it uh, because it only has about a 12-hour shelf life. So once you activate it, you've got about 12 hours to use it. Um, and then I, I don't even know if I would want to use it after, after four or five hours. So you want to go ahead and get this thing done. So. As I can, best I can tell, I haven't missed any spots. Um, I'm looking at all of the different pieces here. And it all looks good to me. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it comes out and it's a good match. It's kind of hard to be able to do that, to know for sure right this second. I know it's really, really close. Um, but I don't want to pick these things up right this second. I don't want to take them out to the car. I don't want to bring the car in right now. Um, just because of the fact that there is a lot of stuff floating around in the air right this minute. And I don't want that, that overspray sitting on the car. So I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to find out for sure for a fact that it matches. But from best I can tell, it looks like it will. So, okay, uh, when we come back, uh, we'll be setting it next to the car, see if it matches up. If it does, we'll be installing it. Thanks for watching this part. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so it's the next morning and everything's had a chance to dry. And hopefully I can get some good lighting here. When the light comes in from the back side of the garage, you can see that uh, there's a lot of haze. But uh, now I've already set these out there next to the car and they are a dead on match. So um, I am tickled to death with this. So anyway, um, I've, now what I've got to do um, is I'm going to have to clean up the garage. As you can see, I've got plastic here all over the place. I already took it loose from the front side of the garage and so now I'll have to clean all this up and then we'll get the car into the back into the garage and then we'll be able to start on the installation of the of the scoops 
So now that we're ready to go, I'm going to go over all of the stuff that you're going to need to be able to do the job. One, you're going to, be able to, you're going to need to be able to take the tire off. So you're going to be able to have a, a jack as well as a jack stand and all of your, your uh, breaker bar, lug, lug wrench, that type of stuff, as well as a, a torque wrench to be able to put your bolts, your lug nuts back on when we're done. You're also going to have to be able to take the, the inner skirt screws out. Okay, those are a T15 Torx. Okay, it's also the instructions call for a quarter inch drill bit. We're going to have to be drilling three holes into the side rocker here to be able to mount the unit on. Um, I'm going to pre-drill my hole with a eighth inch pilot hole first, and then I'll move up to the bigger hole. We're also going to need a pair of scissors to be able to cut out the templates that go on both sides of the car. And then you'll also probably need some tape to be able to hold the template in place so we make sure that we get it exactly where it needs to go. Um, so now at this point we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get the jack, lift up the car, get the lug nuts off, get the, the tire out of the way, get the wheel well uh, the skirt taken out so we can get in behind here so we'll be able to tighten this all up and then we'll drill the holes, we'll, or we'll put the, uh, the template on there, drill the holes, and then we'll be able to attach everything. Okay, so um, that pretty much covers what we've got coming up ahead, and so we're just going to go ahead and um, we'll go from there. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I got a lot of comments before about putting uh, tools and things on the top of my car. Uh, most of the time I put it up on the roof, it's a glass roof, it's not going to hurt anything. But just for those of you that have been pointing this out, you can see right here, right here where I have my little bag of rivets that we're going to use here in a minute, and my pair of scissors, I put it on a towel. Okay? So, just to let you know, I am watching the, the comments. But I've always been really careful to not scratch the car. So, just so you know. Okay? that point you can take these screws out this back. Get this up and out of the way here. Okay. Now I can be able to get in here and I can get, uh, if you can see that, let me see if I can get the camera in here that you can see. You'll be able to get in behind here and you'll be able to get back in there to be, you can see there's plenty of room back there now. See if I get some light in there so you can see it. So there's plenty of room. Not a, not a problem now that we've got the, these, the skirt opened up so we can get down in there. Okay. So now all we need to do is we need to cut our template. And then once we cut the template, we'll be able to put it on, on over here. And then drill our holes. And we'll be home free. see that there's a on the on the unit itself you can see that there's like a little uh, little set of dots here and that's to be able to follow this body line here so you're trying to make sure that you get everything lined up well so this is it's following that body line right there and so we're going to take that we're going to go like that You just want to make sure that you've got this nice and snug, like 
so so you don't have any unexpected things coming loose on you. So you can see this dotted line right here. Hopefully you can see that. It's following that body line. It's like so. This is straight across up here. This is coming down alongside here. And then this is going along the door. Okay, so once we've got that set up there, all we're going to do is we're, I'm just want to just want to set this up here, put it up where the bolts are going to go, and show where the holes are supposed to be drilled. And I'm just setting them on there to see how that looks. And it looks like that's that's nice and flush right there. That follows the curve, and this follows the curve. And it's, nothing's touching, nothing's touching on the the spoilers. Everything's going to fit up there nice and pretty. So I think we've got it exactly where we need it to be. So at this point, now we do the part that always scares me to death, and that's to drill these holes. there I know there's nothing there in the way so you want to make sure that you do that so just in case there's a wire in the way or whatever that you don't end up with some sort of accidental thing that you're drilling through. Okay. So then at that point, we can take these templates loose. Just like that. And then we can move up to the quarter inch drill bit. So now, the other thing that the instructions talk about here is that you can, at this point, you can score this right here at the top to be able to get rid of this protective covering on the, on the rocker. I chose not to. I was looking at some of the other, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, just today when we had our 4th of July run, I was looking at some of the Z06s, and the Z06s have the protective uh, piece already on the the scoop as well as up above so it, it's already there it's already protecting the paint I'm gonna leave it there you can choose to do a couple different things you can pull you can cut this off or it'll be down below uh, the new scoop and that's fine you can choose to take the whole the whole cover off um, and that's fine too uh, I've just elected to go ahead and leave mine on so so this curve starts, it follows this curve right here in this fender. So you want to make sure that you get it exactly right on. And so if you go too far over that way, you go too far this way, it's not going to be right. So it's, it's like that right there is dead on. Okay. So now that we've got that, and we know where it's going to go. Now all we have to do is we're going to take, take it back off. I'll wipe everything down and then we'll put the, the trim piece right here uh, and rivet it on to the, the fender then I'll be able to, to uh, bolt everything on. Okay, so our next step after we've got our holes drilled and we've got everything test fit we know it's going to work. Now what we want to do is we want to re we want to assemble the trim that we painted and we want to put it on there onto the, onto the, uh, the scoop itself. So we're going to slide that in and we're going to lock that one piece down in place and then on the back side here you can see here we've got a couple rivet holes here okay so we're just going to take the now these rivets are supplied 
We're going to take these rivets, we're going to put those in. It's like so. Okay, that lines up really nice, pretty. Okay, and we're just going to take our rivet gun. Hopefully these rivets uh, cooperate a little bit better than they did when we did the arrow kit. Now you notice I'm holding this and it's kind of awkward me holding it like that. It's because I don't want to set this down and take the chance that I'm going to scratch it. My fingers my fingers aren't going to hurt it. I might get some fingerprints on it, but I'm not going to hurt the, the unit, so I'm just holding on to it. So then at that point, all we're doing here is we're going to set this in place. And we're going to make sure that we get this line just right, just like so. And push in, okay. and then we just need the nuts to hold it in place. And those are supplied also in the little packet that comes with it. So you get the, the three, three screws on this side and three for the other side as well as the other rivets for the other side. Okay. Now these nuts are 10 millimeter nuts, so get yourself a 10 millimeter socket here. And you can start these by hand. Now I noticed there's a bunch of like insulation foam that's up up behind this screw here. So you're, this one is going to make you work a little bit. Um, that's not bad, but it's not as uh, clear shot as, as the other ones. Okay, so you want to make sure you get your, your curve correct, just like so. And then you're going to snug these up. Like I said, this one will be a little bit, so you're going to want a, a quarter, uh, quarter inch drive ratchet in here because that's, you know, I think it's going to, probably going to fit. Judging by the way that tightened up, I think we're not going to have any issues there. That looks like it's going to be nice and tight, nothing's going to move. Come back, we'll snug these up just a little bit more. And this last one again. We'll snug it up just a hair more. And that one is good to go. Now all we need to do is just go ahead and uh, button everything back up. Put our bolts back in place. Put a little skirt back in there like so. And that's it. So we're gonna put our a seven millimeter bolt here, or nut I should say. Okay, so once we've got our skirt back in place, then we've got our seven millimeter screw that's on the bottom here. Snug that little guy back up there like so. The T15 Torx here. Almost 
got our skirt all put back together now. One more screw up here. the jack down. We've got our jack stand out from underneath the car. So we're going to let the jack down. And we're all done. We're going to move to the other side. So hopefully you found this video helpful so when you decide that you're going to put your Z06 skirts on your Stingray, you'll have no problem doing it. Follow the instructions, follow my video, and you'll have absolutely no problems putting it on. These are awesome, awesome quality. They look great. They, the fit and finish is just perfect. So you can't ask for any better. So I want to take a second and thank ACS Composite for sponsoring the Corvette channel today and providing me with such awesome product. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. And I know I say that all the time and it sounds that I'm just repeating myself, but it is so true. I myself would not be able to afford to do all the things that I do on this channel if it wasn't for my sponsors. So guys, thank you so much. And for all of you guys that are watching the show today and in the past, those of you that have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for doing that. Those of you who are watching and you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that, that like button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. Be sure and tell your friends. That's how we're going to grow. And we are growing every day, but I'd love to be able to see it get bigger. So guys, again, thank you for watching and you guys have a great night. Oh man, I almost forgot something. Jonathan over at ACS Composite sent me some t-shirts, so we're gonna be able to do some giveaways, and so we're gonna do one on this video here. Leave a comment, you have to be sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment below, and let me know what you think about the ACS products, what you think about how I've been doing my videos, if there's any recommendations that you, you think that I'm not doing something right, or you'd like to see something, Tell me what you think. I, I need your feedback. It really helps and that way I can get this the video that you guys want to see, not just what I want to give you. So again guys, you're going to be able to put a comment in the comment section below and that will enter you into a, a contest to be able to win a t-shirt. So again, thank you for watching and you have a great night. watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe and the like button. Also, 
Be sure to hit that bell so you will be alerted to our next uploads. Thank you.